Welcome back to a beautiful day in the garage here, guys. Uh, if you spend any time making bows and making uh, especially multi-part bows, similar to what I'm getting ready to uh, glue together here. So this is a, an example of a bamboo back and belly along with a tapered core um, riser formed riser piece uh, going to be assembled glued using a form here uh, labeled up you know I'm this what this what this all entails guys as you go along your your uh, bow building journey uh, if you're anything like me I'd like to to do a little bit of experimenting and, and kind of learning about how different design aspects affect your boat differently and uh, you end up making a lot of firewood in the process. But when you engage in this, uh, boy, I guess adventure, I don't know how else to describe it, uh, you really need to start doing some very important documentation. All right, so... Uh, it, you're, you're never going to get repeatable results or be able to avoid uh, circumstances that you have found yourself in if you don't start documenting what it is that you have put together. And it, it is very difficult in hindsight to go back and either try to remember construction methods, try to remember uh, processes, try to remember materials, uh, dimensions, all of these things uh, start to get a little cloudy as you start building a lot of bows. And so um, here's here's uh, kind of a notion of what I do. And, uh, you know, as you get more and more along with more routine builds, maybe maybe this isn't as valuable. But in, in this instance, uh, I have not, you know, I don't feel like I have have come across the, uh, the magic formula on a bamboo back and belly. I think I can continue continue to find more and more efficient ways to build it. And so I want to start keeping track of what I'm doing. And so every bow that I build, you know, gets logged. Uh, you call this a serial number, call it a production number, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's just the year and the number of build that I'm on and, and goes through the materials that I'm using. Uh, I track the molds that I'm using because I've had several different molds that I have used in the past, and so I want to know what mold was used on this particular bow. Uh, back dimensions, a quick diagram of how it's set up, what I did to produce the core piece and the material that it is, belly information, glue up information, all of those things. Uh, it becomes a very valuable resource for you if you uh, make a bow that turns out to be a great bow. And I'm sure everybody's been in that boat where, you know, you get done with a bow and you just think, oh my gosh, this, this, this bow turned out amazing. If I could replicate it, I would. Um, and you want to do everything you can to kind of throw those odds in your favor, in particular with this type of build where it's a little more, um, oh, I, uh, I'm not sure what word to use to describe it. A little more milled out, more more of a uh, construction type process as opposed to a self bow. Self bows, every single wood, piece of wood is going to um, present its own uh, requirements for for bow building. But when it comes time to uh, milling out your own your own parts and, and coming up with your own specs and, and being able to manipulate the uh, outcome of your boat. You, it is of great value to be documenting what you do so that you can refer back. And uh, just as much for, for great results as much as for poor results. Um, and in particular, every time you you have any kind of failure or, or issue that you see here again, you want to go back and document how you would do it differently uh, on that build so that you have a bow to reference, how it turned out, and what you did to make it that way, and what you can do differently to kind of affect a different outcome the next time around. And so um, as, as we progress on this channel, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, experimental builds and kind of bringing you along for the ride if you want to join and just see what what different aspects we can land on that are going to um, 
bring us you know the types of types of consistent results that we're looking for and then where we can tinker more to get uh better efficiency out of out of our bows but uh as far as these bamboo back and belly bows go there's a lot of a lot of variables at play and a lot of different avenues that i'm going to be exploring uh trying to chase down a, a real efficient design uh, thanks for tuning in and i will talk to you again soon